According to Kolerau's law, the equivalent electrical conductivity is determined by the sum of the electrical conductivities of the cation and anion. To find the electrical conductivity of an individual ion, it is necessary to know the fraction of current carried by cations and anions. The fraction of current carried by ions of a given type is called the electric transport number of this ion. However, the electric transport number can be experimentally determined only in such solutions where the electrolyte is completely dissociated into two types of ions. In general, it is not. For example, in an aqueous solution of cadmium chloride, a component containing cadmium cation may exist as particles. All these particles during the electrolysis of a solution of cadmium chloride will move to the cathode and transfer electric current. Therefore, the transport number of the ionic component is always determined experimentally. That is, the number of gram equivalents of this component transferred in the direction of the cathode or anode when one electricity Faraday passes through the solution. In the future, only those systems are considered in which the electric transport number coincides with the experimentally determined transport number of the ion component. If the solution contains several electrolytes, the transport number of a specific ion is In a solution of binary electrolyte, if we substitute the values of the limiting conductivity in the equations for determining the transport numbers, then we obtain the limiting transport numbers, which characterize the fraction of the current carried by cations and anions in the absence of ion-ion interaction. If, then this interaction to a different extent affects the mobility of cations and anions and in this case 